And therefore, be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished. That's amazing. Let's not get on the street corner and hop all day. Uh, white man! And, that, and that's interesting that, you know, they paint this narrative as if that's all we do when we go on the, the highways and the byways. You know, when you look at the various videos that the elder apostles of Great Millstone, starting with them and then the brothers on down do, all right, uh, the, the, there's character building videos, there's prophecy videos, there's videos going into current events, linking them to what's happening. We go into the mark of the beast. And, these and therefore, be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished. That's amazing. Let's not get on the street corner and hop all day. that to the side. He said, don't worry about that. Intercontinental ballistic missiles are going to come down and destroy America. Both sides said, put that to the side. Don't worry about that. You ain't pushing no button on no missile. So don't even worry about that. That's not your job. Your job is to repent, convert, get in this seventh cup. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem. Recha, Ha, Wadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, a sincere shalom to the elect. Shalom to the elect, fellow laborers scattered abroad, you men, women, sons, and daughters. Okay. Anyway, I want to go on this video here. Okay, with uh, off of the uh, brother, elder Yashawamba, screen name. Remnant Save 144. Now I believe he got the video from the brother from Hawaii, and it's the video circling around, right? Um, now I always say I won't do videos on guys that may have been in the truth, as far as the Great Millstone, and they left unless they're trying to change doctrine. Okay. Now these guys, I believe um, Yasha Wamba laid it all out, uh, and I agree. I, I don't know these men. Um, the men that's been with them, the elders and the other elders and apostles that know them can do more so in a video about these guys. But as, as, the, as the elder brought out, um, the doctrine, and that's what we have to contend for. Now, he brought the scripture, I believe in the Apocrypha, a second Ezra, be not curious on how the ungodly shall be punished. Well, we're not curious. <laughs> like, what the hell is he talking about? We're not curious about the missiles. We're not curious about how how this man is going to be punished. We're not curious. What what are we curious about? Right? We don't know. The scripture says we don't know the, the, the day nor the hour, but we know it's close. Right? Let's look up this word curious. And this is going to, you know, someone, you know, you have someone who ungodly that's maybe even in the truth, okay, or, or a heathen. Personally, you know, you, you don't worry about how he's going to be destroyed, he or she, or what's going to happen to them. All right? We know the Most High said he's going to do what he's going to do. Anyway, definition of curious is a marked by desire to investigate and to learn. What do we have to investigate? We know the missiles are coming. This is a faith. This is a belief. A faith-based belief. Right? Marked by inquisitive interest in others. Concerned. Nosy. Right, so I don't know. I thought this. See, these guys are a little bit late. We didn't got through all that Esau going, you know, you know, saying the things we were saying on the hedges and all that. When they come up and then they're and when they become curious, then we tell them what's according to the doctrine, to the Bible, the Holy Bible, what's going to happen to them. And if our people who are coming up and not taking heed to uh, what's going to happen then that's the same same deal so the scriptures say something different right let's get the scripture real quick I want to jump to um, Ezekiel the third chapter and I'll jump around from there I didn't get to listen to all the brothers video but I got through most of it and it was like wait a minute you know I have to do a video you know I don't know what, what these guys do they just get up and they they uh woke up one morning they saw the prophecies of Biden these guys are not accredited 
so to speak they shouldn't be saying anything because they didn't Luke 962 they took their hand from the plow what can they tell the people now that we haven't already told the, the, the apostles of great millstone when they went out and not, and not even their teachers but when they went out and the internet happened this is when everything took off far as the Hebrew Israelites okay so this is when it all blew up and um, going back to uh, 2008 2009 I was watching I wasn't in in, in uh, Great Millstone but I was watching uh, GOCC Elder Ricard he was on fire standing up on the bucket talking about your how about Shimmy I was shy you know I saw all that the mark of the beast he was all on fire then he twisted then I saw Nate, trench coat Nate. He had the big brothers, old school, older that came in a while back. They remember. He had that big long trench coat. He didn't have all that purple stuff on. You know, he had those those matching purple garments, right? Purple and gold, like we in the kingdom. He didn't have all that on. Then he come back. He even took off time. Then he came back saying Nate is back, and he had this Spielberg production, and everybody. Took, took to it. A lot of people took to it. So, uh, Zabak has always been who Zabak is. A scripture man, cutting uh, cutting people. That, that's who he's been. right? I didn't see him change too much. He just never uh, uh, agreed to the mark of the beast. Anyway, let's get the scripture. Ezekiel 3 and 17. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning for me. Right, so we're not curious on how our people are going to get punished if they don't listen. We know curiosity means you need you're trying to figure out. You you um, suggestively don't know. Well, is he going to this? Is this going to happen to this person? Right. Let me say um, as I just read it, investigating, and in, inquisiting, inquiring on is this going to happen to this person or. You know, I don't know if that's going to happen to that person. And the reason why that is because we, we're not concerned after the point that we've already told everybody. We're in a new era now. We're in a new time of prophecy. So we don't, you won't see us out there cursing out the white man and doing big videos. We didn't pass that. I don't know where these guys, this is like running a race, you know, trying to get to the finish line. And we've been running it. And let me say the apostles of Great Millstone, because they, I, 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 I'll label this an example to them. They've been running this race. And then here comes, we're getting to the end of the race. Then these guys are the guys that's, that's under the bleachers, right? Sitting on the side. <laughs> and then when they see the apostles coming, right? As soon as they go by, they go run, jump in, and start running with the apostles and act like they was in the, on the track the whole time. You know, that's a faker, man. That's a that's a deceiver. Okay, <laughs> that's what I see. You see a lot of guys now. All of a sudden, they want to pop up and shake off and starch their garments and arm them and come out like they've been in the race the whole time. You guys started out the race, but you went and took a break. You didn't got a coffee break, cigar break, and now the race is almost over. You guys run and jump back in and uh, cheat. And try to get, you know, on board again. Well, the, uh, I believe, I believe it's the Rock 23 and 19, or 26, says the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. You can't get away from that, man. What, what you guys trying to do? Okay. <laughs> anyway, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, right? And thou give of him not warning, nor speak to warn the wicked. From his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Why? Because you're supposed to tell them. We're supposed to tell them if you don't get right, you got the death, the famine, you got the, uh, if you take that mark of the beast, you're going to be destroyed, the missiles are going to come, uh, the, this man is going down, his system going down. So, what these guys are saying, be not curious, but what, he, what they're really saying is, leave all that alone. That's what they're saying. Leave all that alone. That don't have nothing to do with the truth. They're not even reading the scripture right and breaking it down and understanding as the elder already broke it down. Okay? We passed that. 
and we warn them. The scripture says meditate. Meditate what? Enjoying this world? See, these those smooth speaking prophets, man. Let's go to Isaiah 30. I believe it's 30. 30 and 9. It says that this is a rebellious, lying children. These guys are liars, man. They're rebellious too. They never stood and, and stood the test. They're reprobates as well. Now, I don't know them. But from what I was told and what I see, I didn't see these guys out there. Right? Where they been at? Lying children, children that would not hear the law of the Lord, right? Everybody think these scriptures is going to some two-third out there riding up on a bicycle, smoking a blunt, man. Would say to the seers, see not. This is what these guys are saying. Oh, don't worry about it, man. We're not supposed to worry about no missiles. We're not supposed to worry about no mark of the beast. There's a lot of these guys doing that, man. And that what happens is, what that does, that takes people out of fear of the Lord and put people in a comfort zone. And that's where these guys want you, man. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophecy deceits. Right? This is a prophecy deceit to tell the people that we're not supposed to warn them about the missiles or to tell uh, the people that this man, this enemy that's over you will be put down under you. This is a prophecy deceit. That scripture has nothing to do with us uh, uh, prophesying, man. That has nothing to do uh, with uh, what we speaking on and what we speak about. Be not curious on how the ungodly shall be punished. We're not. <laughs> well, what are we curious? We're not curious about that. Right? We don't have to be curious about that because we know. We know as prophets, uh, and I believe, you know, prophets of the most high, Lord willing, I'm the elect and brothers of the elect are hopefully elect. We know because this is what was taught to us. And according to going into the scriptures, we read that. And it's in the scriptures uh, brought that out. Okay. Now, when you go into the time of Babylon, you know, where we go into Lamentations, right? Go to Lamentations 4 and um, let's go to 20. 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwelleth in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken. Thou shalt make thyself naked. So these scriptures that uh, that you see in this book and Obadiah talking about Esau shall be a stubble and all these scriptures. Oh, we sort of keep quiet on that. We're not supposed to teach that. We're not supposed to say anything about that. That has nothing to do with curiosity. That has.